So we have another weird two for one here where The Miz comes out to cut a promo regarding what really happened with Dexter Loomis. And I really like this because it still shows ambiguity of what truly happened. But as the days and the weeks progress over the course of this feud, we're getting more information. And it's not just kind of thrown in our face. It's more of you have to watch it every single week to get it. And I think that actually makes this rivalry, I would say, somewhat more dynamic. I don't like Johnny Gargano being in this. I just don't. I feel like this is a weird cop-out. And now he's in two different rivalries? What the hell is this? This is not AEW. You don't have to put a bunch of people in multiple rivalries. It just makes everything so unnecessarily confusing given what happens later in the show. Now, that did lead into Johnny Gargano coming out to talk about The Miz and Dexter Loomis given their prior relationship, which, once again, not a big fan of, but whatever, I can't do much about that. And then our truth comes out. You know, they're in Charlotte. He's from Charlotte. It makes sense to me. Uh, I thought it was really humorous. Our truth is just so unbelievably underrated. Very good in the ring. He still looks great after all of these years. And he had a match. This led into the Miz versus our truth. Where I'm sitting there, I'm like, what? This is a treat. Um, the match itself is fine. Not really too much to go into it. And I think given where they were, this makes sense. And especially here, this makes sense. Maybe opening match, but I think where it is and what they did with it, I really can't do anything too much to make it more majestic. It was a Johnny Gargano distraction for R-Truth to roll up the miss for the victory. So with all of that being said and the crowd pop, I, it just has a nice warm, fuzzy feeling, good humor, well-paced, well-timed. Yeah, I'll give an Orange Cassidy thumbs up, and that's being nice.